Hello and welcome everyone, this is Mario, and today I'm bringing you the 10th stage of the Tour de France 2019 in Pro Cycling Manager. This one is going to be 218 kilometers long. It's going to take the riders from saint Flour to Albi. It's considered as a flat stage, although the terrain is quite irregular, and I really don't know what to expect from this one. I'm pretty sure that riders like Peter Sagan, uh, Michael Matthews or Matteo Trentin are very likely to be at the end of the stage um, with the possibility to challenge for the win. But as for the other sprinters, um, well, I really don't know if they are going to be able to be um, with the main group to challenge for the win. So the riders are about to depart for this stage. And today I could potentially take one of my riders in the breakaway. I'm not going to do so with Alaphilippe. There are only seven mountain points available in this one. So I'm tempted to take Kaspar Asgren again in the breakaway. He was really close to getting a stage win in the previous day. So let's see, maybe I can try and challenge for the stage win with him if the breakaway is in a good position to challenge for the win today. So I did manage to put Kaspar Asgren in the breakaway, um, but there are only four riders here, Johan Ofredo, Jens de Boucher, uh, Kaspar Asgren and Ladagnus, and the pace in the peloton is quite strong. Kofidis is really trying to... Oh, I have to pace a bit with Elie Viviani, he's getting really far behind. So the riders in the breakaway are now in the first climb of the day, the Côte de Malais. It's a category 4 climb, so only one point available. I'm not going to worry with that uh, with Kasper Asgren, um, but I need to pay attention if other riders attack. I don't want to get dropped. So let's try to pace a bit at 95, just to keep in touch with the other riders and now let's go back to relaying at 75. And the peloton led by Kofidis is really catching up, only 34 seconds separating the peloton and now Natnay Oberani is attacking or no? That was a really odd attack. Now Matthias Frank and Berani is following they are trying to go really strong. So now I'm going with Asgrin, Matthias, Frank and Berani. Berani won the stage yesterday. So let's see. And it all went okay. So in the meanwhile, the breakaway group did increase in number. And actually, Kofidis now has four riders in this six-man group. So the riders in the breakaway are apparently attacking because, again, they don't like that I'm not cooperating with Kaspar Asgren, but that's kind of ridiculous. I mean, Kofidis has four riders in this group. They should be the ones working, not me. So we're now approaching the intermediate sprint uh, of today's stage. I'm already um, increasing the pace with a sprint train for Elie Viviani. I'm having Yves Lampard, uh, Maximiliano Ricchese, and then Elie Viviani. Let's try to increase the pace a bit now with uh, Yves Lampard. I don't think they are going for the sprint in the breakaway. So let's go all out now with uh, Yves Lampard. And now sprinting with Ricchese. And now going with Elie Viviani. And can Viviani take the top points here ahead of Peter Sagan? And he does. Well done. So the breakaway is about to get caught. Um, I'm not going to work anymore with Asgrin. And as soon as they get caught, I will start preparing the sprint train for Elia Viviani. So nine kilometers to go in the stage now. And for a while, the pace was really strong. And so I'm kind of improvising a sprint train. And Van Aert is leading Groenewegen. I don't really know if I should follow another sprinter's wheel. 
with um, Viviani, let's go 99 now, with Alaphilippe, this might work, let's see, soon I will have to start sprinting with Michael Marco, let's go now with Marco, and, oh, oh, and this is going to be close, Elie Viviani now sprinting, he cannot do it, he's out of energy, and the win is going to Peter Sagan. Peter Sagan followed by Mikhail Kwiatkowski and then Jasper Stuyven. So this was a terrible sprint for Elie Viviani. He only gets 10 in the stage. And oh, oh no, I hope, I hope this doesn't count as a gap. How did this happen? Oh my. And here is the replay of the final sprint. Elie Viviani was in the front, but he was out of energy very soon and Peter Sagan took the win ahead of a surprising Mikhail Kwiatkowski. So the strong pace in the end dictated that uh, many of the sprinters were out of energy pretty quickly. Elie Viviani only managed 10. I think Gronewegen didn't even uh, got the top 20 in the end and Peter Sagan was the strongest. In the GC there were no changes, Geraint Thomas still leading. I was a bit afraid of a time gap for Eric Mas, but he's still uh, behind 3 minutes and 10 seconds as before. No changes as well in the mountain classification, with Julien Lafilippe still with 25 points ahead of Tom Squins. Peter Sagan is having a ridiculous advantage now in the points classification. He has 79 points over Elie Viviani, so this is his to lose. Egan Bernal is the best young rider, and Team Ineos is the best team. This stage, I, I said in the beginning that I didn't know if it's, it was going to end as a mass sprint. It did, but um, many of the sprinters were not in the best conditions uh, at the end of the stage. So I then improvised the sprint train led by Alaphilippe and then Morcao and Elie Viviani. It was too short um, and when I paced hard with Alaphilippe, it really depleted the energy of Viviani. He started sprinting but it was way too early and then only managed 10th in the stage. And <laughs> as I said, the pace was so strong and this is almost unbelievable that Wanti Gobert lost six riders and actually they only had six riders left. Wanti doesn't have a single rider left. How insane is this? So the top riders in the GC remain basically the same, although now Mikhail Kwiatkowski is third in the GC. So the next stage is going to be a really quiet one. Well, at least I expect it to be a really quiet one. Only three mountain points available in the stage. Really short, 167 kilometers long and basically flat. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. It was a bit chaotic uh, close to the end, quite intense. So if you did enjoy this, please click the like button. Also, leave me a comment below, tell me what you think I should have done differently strategy-wise today. And also, if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate your support and I hope to see you next time for Stage 11 of the Tour de France 2019 in Pro Cycling Manager. Bye!